Did you know that you can actually view your Forex economical calendar directly in your trading view? And you don't need an additional application to do that? <laughs> Stick around, let me show you how. Lower the top. Wow, on. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dre Costin. If it's the first time over here, what we do over this channel is to analyze the financial market, like chop chop it up in pieces, so each and everyone can understand. Economical calendar, another trading view tutorial. Let's just dive straight into it. All right, economical calendar. The last time that we are here, we spoke about the news event on the page yeah so this is like a follow-up of the news event the news events that you're seeing directly on the chart those are for major events so if you want to see the entire calendar you're going to come to this little icon right here that says calendar and you just click it right bam see that and it just pops right out. So right now, it's only showing events for London and the United States because I trade a lot on GU, right? Well, you can do something like this, yeah? You can actually filter it for the period that you trade or if you just want to see everything. You follow me? So say for argument's sake, you trade you don't trade um pound USD, but you trade USD CAD. Yeah, you can have that right there. Say that you also trade. Let's go back to United Kingdom. Say that you trade GBP JPY, right? And you can put in Japan. You follow me? So um UK for the pound, right? Japan for the yen. Yeah. Press apply. What you find right now is all the news events, right? For the pound, United States that's coming up. The, the yen is from Japan, so this is the yen flag, right? The one that you see with the fire beside it, that is high impact news. It's gonna show you that these, these type of news is going to move the market aggressively. You follow me? And you just go through. So this is the economic, the calendar guys yeah no really big thing to it you understand no really like rocket science it or anything like that you don't need to like go in depth in in what the news mean or, or anything like that um if you want to you can yeah but you just need to know the major ones so the major news is the interest rates um the the non the non um nfp right the non-farm payroll right the nfps um the cpis consumer price index um those are just some me some just those are few that i can name right now right off the top of my head All right those news you just really have to be aware of where they are on the calendar especially interest rate because interest rates really impacts how currency price moves right so you really have to know where those are on the calendar because you don't just want to just jump on and just start trading like that yeah you have to know where you are on the calendar you understand so hopefully this was really helpful to you guys as i say you can just come right here filter right so i'll go back so you have like your watch list here, alerts here. Um, these are will be like past news, right? These are past news. You get me? But we don't really want to look at the past like that, yeah? You understand? And then now you have the calendar. See, it's shit like a little calendar right there. And then you should be good. All right? So. Oh, this was really helpful for you guys and hope it can really help you in your trading because I use these things a lot. 
I don't really just make videos because it's of made video sake. All right, anything that I'm doing a video on, I actually use it. All right, straight balling, no stalling. Thank you guys for watching. And if there's anything on Trading View that you'd like to see me cover, please comment below and I'll try my very best to assist you. One big up on yourself and enjoy the rest of the day. I'm out.